today I made a decision. And I've gathered you here because I wanted to share it with my family at this time. Uh, and you come too, because this decision concerns you. Come, have a seat. I have just found the right and exact solution to get rid of this man, Kutai. And it's guaranteed. Huh? Well, what is it, Father? To marry Zainab. <laughs> <laughs> and why are you laughing? If Zainab decides to get married, of course. This is the only way to get rid of that pain in the neck, Kutai. Uncle Muammar. Sit down, I... my child. Sit down. Sit down. Uh, this will be useful for you, too. You can step aside, too. So, everyone will be so comfortable, right? So, Grandpa, this marriage plan is a joke. Marriage? The real one, marriage. Uh, maybe teenagers will be hesitant at first, but uh, these arranged Marriages used to happen a lot in my day and led to many happy relationships. But father, Zainab will not have an arranged marriage, of course. I have already received many offers, Isla. They want to come and see Zainab too. Zainab will make the decision, of course. And obviously I will support her marriage and her decision. Sadik, send in number one, please. Is he, he's here? Uh... So, sir, I went to a university in America called MIT. Don't tell me, my boy, tell them that. <laughs> I finished the nuclear physics department as a top student. I also did my master's degree about the neuron networks. Your granddaughter will lead a very comfortable life with me. I'll fall all over her. I will never let her go out of my sight and I will be prohibited to talk to boys at any point. So that's how our marriage will go. So if she doesn't follow my rules, I will simply have to, you know, Okay, Suleiman, okay, my boy. Okay, you can go out. This one isn't the one, right? Sadik! Do you know about dairying? And butter? Do you know how to milk a cow? Will you go and make something for us to drink? Grandpa. Uh, okay, okay, F.A., okay. Come on, you can go. Call the number three in, number three, come on. Which one is mine now, Muammar? The middle one! The middle one! She's so beautiful. Uh oh! Father! Something's oh, happening to him! Shh, quiet! He's sleeping. He's ill. He's a diabetic. A million years old. It's fine, so what? He's mature and polite. Grandpa, it's a joke, right? I'm about to cry. No, why would I do that, my child? I even made the preparations for the engagement. Look, even the rings are ready. Look, my child. Look, do you see? If you want, we can put... 
We can put the rings on now, okay? Hmm. hmm. So you play with me, huh? I played with you too. That's not a game. This is the game. Where did that marriage proposal come from? Look, children, I don't like these kinds of tricky things. I don't like it too, Grandpa, but when Ruzgar offered suddenly, I couldn't say anything. Hmm. Uh, I had to make, to make Katai go, I mean, as a solution. Okay, I don't want discussions like this in this house. Will this pain in the neck be gone anytime soon? Yes, Grandpa, for good. Nice. Then this game should continue until he's gone. After that, we'll end this game. Okay? It's only until he's gone. You said it well, Father. Why am I caught up in this anyway? I agree with you. I wish we hadn't ever involved you. I wish to. So what? Fine. Fine then. I'm going now. That's fine. Here he comes. Not too late, am I? No, hon. Everything is just starting right now. I'll go get a drink. I wouldn't let my hand go if I was you. All eyes on us. So you couldn't stand it and came to save me? I'm not here for you. Mr. Kamal pressed me to participate in the launch. Don't flaunt yourself. Riskar is here. Is this game still happening? Yes, and at full steam too. Though it's open to question whether it's a game or not. We will no longer have to play such games when Katai leaves, you know? I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, honestly, me too. Impatiently waiting for it. I guess you won't even stay here when he leaves, right? You'll go wherever your mind drives you? Driven by my heart, not mind. So then, you're leaving or staying here? What is your heart telling you now?
do you talk this much to people you're angry at? just so stupid. Why, what's wrong? We didn't give her a phone. We messed up. Uh, now we have to wait for them to come back. Well, I hope they come back before Dad arrives. Otherwise, there will be a real storm in here. <sighs> it won't stop, Jesus. And it isn't thundering. Come on, girl, you got this. Hey, dear? Yes, I am. Where's your car? Is it close? I think it's over there somewhere. Come on, let's go. What? I'm coming too. The road is blocked. It's raining. Everything got into a rut. Let's go. I can go by myself. I don't need you now, okay? Come here. Ouch! Let me go. What the hell are you doing? Let go of me or I'll scream. Come on now, come on. I was able to send a text to my mom with the last bit of charge I had. Just saying, not to worry about it. What happened? The clothes didn't fit you? Not too bad, huh? At least they're dry. skilled at making a fire. You think you're cool when you don't answer people? You owe me two apologies, you know that. One is for making me a proposal, and the other for dumping me like it was nothing. I'm still mad at you for that. I crossed the mountains and hills and came here to save you. I think you have to thank me for that instead, don't you agree though? You didn't save me, dear. 
I was already here then. At least at some point I was here. I had a real rough night. I want to have a rest, if you excuse me. Right, only you had a rough night, I assume. We'll quarrel like married couples, then. You'll get cold. Come and get warm. No, I'm, I'm okay, thanks. That's your choice. Until my hair is completely dry. <clears throat> Why did you come here? wanted to be alone. Won't you ask another question? No. If someone wants to be left all alone, I'm sure there's a private reason for it. Well, why did you get away? your hut in the forest. The same as you. To be alone. I think both of us couldn't be alone. When someone goes away, they think that they leave everything behind. But the things come with you sometimes. Sometimes they come with you. And sometimes they just appear in front of you. When someone's alone, they hear only one sound. The sound of their own heart. That sound cures one, too. I know the value of that sound the most. All the secrets of my life hidden in it. It's my miracle, really. The rain won't seem to stop. Bruzgar? Calm down. I'm here for you. I'm so scared now. Don't be scared. Just calm down.
Morning. Good morning. The weather is nice. Mm-hmm. Well, let's go, or I'm sure my mother will worry more. Okay. Oh, uh. But first, let's eat the sandwich from yesterday. We can share it. No, don't eat that. I'll prepare you a new one. Will something bad happen to my car? There aren't too many cars on that road. I'm pretty sure we'll just be fine. So, you and I made peace, by the way, right? I'd say so. Of course. Well, now we know each other better. We had conversations for a pretty long time. Like two really good friends. What are you getting at, Zainab? When we arrive there, they'll ask, what did you do last night? And I'm thinking of what to say. Just tell them what happened. Do you want me to tell them what happened? Did something happen that shouldn't have happened? No. Nothing happened. <laughs> Don't ever go away by yourself. Thank you. And if you do go away, take your charger with you, sweetie. Isla, I'm getting so angry. Oh, sister, you're dwelling. Just calm down, will you? Ruzgar stepped up and saved our Zainab. <laughs> okay, okay, very nice. Now have a seat, okay? Okay? <laughs> Come on, have a seat. Uh, Zainab, nothing bad happened last night, did it? What? Mom... Oh, please don't ask such okay. nonsense. Okay, okay, all right oh, then. Oh, Mom, for goodness <laughs> sake. Hello there. I know we had some hard times recently. And I also know I was the one responsible. But it is past. I'll leave and go back to Istanbul now. I don't want to say goodbye to all this just yet. You may have forgotten but it's my birthday today. And I would like to celebrate my birthday with you, if you would like. No way, Katai. Katai, are you crazy for thinking we would? Consider it a farewell for me. 
Before I leave here, I have one request. To spend the last night with you. After that, I'm going to leave here forever. What do you think, Zainab? Can you fulfill one last request? Do you really want this, Katai? I just want to spend a nice time with old friends for my birthday. Don't worry, I've already bought the ticket to Istanbul for tonight. By the way, Ruskar is invited too. I owe you an apology, Ruskar. Maybe you'll forgive me. Have one last night. Did I make a mistake by accepting Katai's offer? I just don't trust that guy, Zainab. But he spoke so eloquently, so. I thought that he was sincere. I don't know. But I don't feel good about it. But what could he possibly do? I think you're apprehensive, Ruzgar. He already bought his ticket. He's going to leave. If you feel at ease about it. You'll come too, though, right? Well, I won't leave you alone. Everybody, I'd like your attention. Well, thank you so much for not leaving me alone tonight. Uh, it being my birthday and all. Uh, uh, well, it's good to have your friends, and it's also good uh, to feel the love. I, I mean, who doesn't like to be loved, right? But it, it's also possible not to be wanted and not to be loved too and not to be forgiven. Although sometimes we feel regret Well, all right then. Okay. I was born in this town, and I fell in love for the first time. I held the hand of the girl that I loved for the first time in this town. Also, I suffered the pangs of love for the first time in this town. So now I thank everyone and everything that makes me live my truth. All the loveliness and pain as well. I'm out of here now. Time to go. Uh, so I'm off. What the hell is he doing? Katai 
guy's gone. So now he's out of my life, it looks like. And it feels nice, I must say. Why don't you feel relaxed? I don't think it's that easy to relax. It's not easy? After all that happened? Just think of the things that are finally over now. <laughs> I'm glad now we can breathe a sigh of relief. Would you like to dance with me? You know that we don't need to play games anymore, right? I know that. We'll close the deal here on this night. We'll say goodbye to our brother, our dear brother Ruzgar. lost your mind. You can't do such a thing. You're not that bad of a person. I know it. Katai. Katai, enough. Put that gun down. Please, no. Ben, are you nuts? What are you doing? If you come at me, then I'll shoot you in the leg, so don't test me. What were we talking about? Oh. Shooting Ruzgar. Uh, do you have a request? Where do you want it? In the leg, maybe? Huh? Maybe in the arm? Or in the chest? Do you want me to shoot you in the heart then? Enough of this. Enough. Zainab! Zainab! Zainab, keep your mouth shut. Zainab! 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 Oh, no. Stop, please! Have you ever thought of the consequences of what this means? Zainab, I said I needed you to keep your mouth shut. What will you do? Will you shoot me instead? Go for it. Zainab, shoot! Don't stop, stop it! it. Zainab! Zainab! Right here. Shoot me right in the heart. How can I love you, Kritai? How could I believe you now? Wow, look at yourself. You run the risk of being a murderer now. You're a piece of trash. Now you're the most disgusting person. You're the most awful person I've ever met. In my life. And I wish that I never met you. I wish you hadn't come into my life. You're reduced to a hardened criminal. And I can't believe that you went this far. May God have mercy on your soul. the hell out of here. I don't want to ever see 
Hello, Mother. Yeah, I'm almost there. Okay. Ruzgar? Thanks for all your help. said something to me. I wish you said don't, Ruzgar. Or keep going, Ruzgar. Get close to her, or steer away from her. Right and wrong got mixed up. Yes, my past. My present. And future got mixed up. I don't even know how I will try to mend my heart now. I seem to have lost my way. I wish you would talk to me. Say something, please. Ruzgar, I think the best thing now is to tell Katai the whole truth. There's just no other way. So the game among us will be over. It'll be over. You're not responsible for what happened yesterday, Zena. You didn't give the gun to Katai. You take too much upon yourself. Maybe you're right. But after all, I was the one who started the game. What if you got shot? I mean, what are you guilty of? Nobody is guilty here. Except Katai, of course. It's not the punishment of his guilt. I can't live with that. 
I made a decision. So now I'll go and tell Kutai everything. The fake relationship between us must come to an end. All right. If you want it to end, so be it. Is it all the same to you if I end it? I want you to be happy, Zena. If it makes you happy to do so, end it. Having a fake breakup and a fake relationship. I don't know why I've become so emotional. I've become quite a crybaby, truly. Anyway, I'll get going now. Zena. We started this game together. So we'll end it together. I'm coming with you. Do you have any pain? Yes, I do. I can't move my left arm. Can you fluff my pillow for me? Here, let me help. Is that better now? Thank you. They wouldn't have been able to save me if it was one inch over. Do you know when you'll be discharged? To be honest, I'd go if they'd let me. But the doctor said they needed to keep a close eye on me now. But I'm getting so bored. It just hurts my heart when I take deep breaths. The doctor said that when I fell, my rib got hurt or something. Katai, what happened last night? Don't go there. I made a big mistake, and I'm ashamed. I know I ruined everything. Actually, there's something I need to tell you, and that's why we're both here now. It's just I felt so bad about this since last night. With you getting shot and getting to this horribly sad point. Actually, there's something that you need to know. What is it? Well, uh, well, I just... Now might be a good time to visit with your parents. 
Zainab, remember, you're always welcome. I'm sure you can do it better. What do you mean? I mean you can fool Zainab, but know that you can't fool me. What is he saying? Just talking nonsense, don't worry. Are you okay? Oh, yeah, I'm fine. It's nothing. Zainab? Zainab? Did you tell him the truth? I didn't get to. Why not? He's in great pain already. I didn't think that it was a good idea to tell him. We'll tell him when he's discharged. You did the right thing. Just tell him when he recovers a bit. He's not in pain at all. He's faking. Why the hell would he do that? He's trying to take advantage of your mercy. But he was lying in a pool of blood right in front of us, and now we're visiting him in a hospital. What the hell are you talking about? I don't think his injury is so serious. He's just trying to pile on the agony and win your heart. You're not serious. What the hell do you think you're trying to prove with all of this? Oh, come on. Wake up, Zainab. Katai is always toying with your feelings. He's still in pursuit of you and would do anything possible to get you. Katai could have done evil, but he shot himself. And he almost died. He's not faking it. Didn't you see him? Ruzgar? Ruzgar? Hey, I'm coming in. Ruzgar? Did you leave already? My grandpa told me that if you have a pain that you can't tell anybody about, tell the sea about it. The sea will fix everything. How does he fix it? I don't know. I don't ask about all that. But I do think that it keeps it in its deepest part, like the inside of a muscle. You were right, you know. Again. We found out everything. Turns out Kutai was faking. Won't you say anything to me? Like I told you or something? No, I won't. I was stressed out a little too much. I think that's why I didn't get what happened. And I didn't listen to you. You see what I mean by that? I understand. You don't seem like you understand what I mean.
I do have something to ask. Do you happen to know of a place that makes delicious stuffed mussels that we might eat together? <laughs> hmm? You asked the right girl. <laughs> like it? It's very delicious. I have an idea. Let's squeeze some lemon over our problems. Here. Now open your mouth. Oh. I wonder whose problems we ate now. Take some things seriously. I do take things seriously. We have enough problems, thanks. What do you mean, we have enough? Uh, I meant me. I have more than enough problems. I'm bored of them. <laughs> Well, I'll be at the beach with my problem, so if you'd like, you can come and we can share. <laughs> and don't listen to a word he's saying to you. You're nuts. <laughs> it's life that's nuts. That was wonderful. <laughs> yeah. Tonight was awesome, you guys, but now it's late and we need to go. Uh, where are you going at this hour? We're meeting up with Takin's friends from the university. We don't want to make them wait. Basak, come on. We have to go, too. Okay. I need sleep like I need air to breathe. Sleep? <laughs> sleep at this hour? It's still early. We're uh, so tired from everything that's happened the last few days, you know? Fine, go on, then. See you later, then. Bye-bye. See ya. There they go. <sighs> what will I do now? What do you mean? My grandpa told me to tell everything to Katai today, but when he hears I didn't, I'll be done for. So, what will you do then? I was thinking I would stay out of the house until maybe he goes to sleep. But everyone took off. And I'm sure you'll also say you need to go. I won't go. I'll stay here as long as you want. When you look up at the sky, you realize how small and unimportant we are. For example? There are millions of stars and galaxies. In one of those galaxies, there's the Earth. There are a number of countries on that Earth. Understand what I'm saying? Focus in one of them, Ruzgar. And there I am, Zeynep. I'm meaningless to this universe. You mean a lot in my universe. Well, that's because I'm a meteor that crashed down on your planet. Take a walk and warm up. Come on.
Hello there, mother. Is he asleep? Okay. Okay, I'm, I'm coming now. My friends will take me there. Okay. <laughs> we can go now. Thank you.